Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Saturday Boys, where every day is a Saturday. Come and hang out with us as we chat about games, music, movies, and more, all over nice cold beverages. My name is Nick, and today I'm joined by Anthony. Hi. And Brandon. Hey. What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> what's up, what's Chill. up? I know, right? It's been a pretty fun day today. Uh, today is the first day we're doing something where, uh, new for me, at least. we uh, doing a movie that we watch on the same day, recording right after watching the movie. It's pretty fun. Yeah, usually yeah. we... Um we watch the like we we decide what we're gonna do and then we kind of have like a week to all fit it into our own schedules and watch the movie and then we discuss it at the end of the week on Saturday. Give our brains yeah. a little bit of time to stew about what we want to talk about. Today was just a f- f it. Let's just do it. It, it. it kind of fits the vibe of the movie, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, uh, speaking of vibe of the movie, what are we drinking today, guys? Uh, Blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii, slightly modified, actually. Yeah, it's a little, little more green. <laughs> um, <laughs> So this drink is one part vodka, one part rum, one part so uh, blue carousel. Then it is a little bit of pineapple juice, a little bit of sweet and sour, mm-hmm. and that's actually it. But then I added on a little floater of Malibu, and then I added on a little bit more pineapple juice because we tasted it, and it was a little bit boozy. So. It was a little yeah. bit booty. We were like, how should we do a... Sip beforehand to see if it's good, and uh, yeah, I'm glad we did because that was <laughs> that would have been rough to drink the entire thing. I would have been like a pause, time out. A little bit of coconut <laughs> goes a long way. I think it's the rum I used. It the Maybe. what was the base rum that you used? I used a Bacardi Gold. Gold. Oh, you didn't use a clear rum? No. Okay. So I think that might have done it. Um, yeah, yeah, been a bit too strong of a flavor. It was on sale at Prize. Okay, it was I, eight I, bucks for a whole bottle of rum. So I was okay. Like, <laughs> Where's the rum gone? It It was $8. I mean, it tastes a little off, but whatever. Eh, Drink it. Whatever works. I mean, honestly, well, kind of. As we found out, you need to mix it with some other things. Yeah. We got plenty of stuff on hand, so. I know, right? We're getting a mini bar going on over here, basically. (laughs) Malibu will fix anything we're coming to find out, though. Mm -hmm. Well, at least these tropical drinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll probably dive into something non-tropical next week because we're on a little tropical binge. But we needed something that fit with this movie. Yeah, Yeah. we were in a super like we were today. We're watching forgetting shit and forget. We're talking. (laughs) (laughs) No, we're not. Today we're watching forgetting shit, dude. (laughs) <laughs> uh, the weather we outside w- is weather. <laughs> <laughs> weather outside is weather. Today we watched a Forgetting Sarah Marshall. It, it takes place in Hawaii. It's a super beautiful movie because of it. Mm-hmm. And so we went tropical theme. We even ate in a Hawaiian place for lunch today. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. That was delicious. That place was really good. Well, it was called Aloha Kitchen. Mm-hmm. Wow, that food was good, man. Uh, I got the teriyaki chicken. Nick got the katsu. And then and the bulgogi, bulgogi, I don't know how to say it. Basically top sirloin. Yeah, top Basically sirloin. Top. Perfection. But then they each came on some rice, and then me and Anthony got mac, and it got extra rice. Yeah. I'm basic. It's okay. <laughs> rice I is get good. that. I get that. Macaroni salad's not for And everybody. talk about what you put, uh, what you found in the in the shop? What was on the wall? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude. This one we will put up in this yeah. episode. It, it was a, this, uh, Guy Fietti has been to this restaurant, <laughs> and they have the signed poster from when he was there. So I took a picture of that. That's dope. I'm a big <laughs> Guy Fietti. Walked fan. into it and was like, hero. yo, dude, what the hell? There's a signed <laughs> picture by, of it's Guy Fietti over guy, here. It's Guy Fietti. <laughs> and I honestly, I know why now, because that food was phenomenal. I know, right? I, Holy crap. I haven't been so like shot. Like, it's a little it's hole so in the away. wall place. Yeah. It's next to like a massage parlor and a church. You're right. Like, All right. And this food's Nellis. either going to be really hit or really miss, man. <laughs> right. Especially being Hawaiian, you're like, all right. <laughs> yeah, because I was saying, like, the only, like, Hawaiian food I've had beforehand was um, oh, Rumbies. Rumbies Grill, which is, like, just generic Polynesian chain, food. chain yeah. and food. So and it's, like, fries and pulled pork and yeah. rice bowls. It's, they it's do so food. Fries. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just, it's not authentic. That yeah. was way more authentic. Yeah, that was, sure. like, something that, like, Anthony, you've been to Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Like, you feel yeah, like well, once I saw Loco Moco, I'm like, okay, this is actually legit. Okay, yeah. Like, <laughs> this is this is what I expected to be here. And that's why I was so indecisive because I looked at the menu. Not that much to all. Like, they didn't have, like, that many things, which is good so you don't get overwhelmed. Like, I like it Cheesecake when... Factory. <laughs> but uh, looking at the menu, it's, like, it's all the stuff, like, mm-hmm. I remember seeing that. Like, like, when we go to, like, the, the markets and stuff, they have set up, like, vendors. So it was really good. Like, it made me just, like, kind of sit there. I'm like, I don't know what I want. It's all good. <laughs> I just want something different than you guys, so in case like if we all wanted to share, then we'd be able to 
No, yeah, we, yeah. we have actually split the meal halfway. Yeah, and After yeah. realizing it's like, oh, shit, they had a mixed combo for <laughs> us. We were Number sitting three. there after we ordered, looking at the TV, and it's like, oh, wait, that's what we're going <laughs> to gonna do when we get home. Just split it. Right. That was pretty minds. funny. But no, the food was good, and it got us in the mood for this. That's one thing I did want to say. Movie. Yeah, I, I really like doing like the pair to drink with the thing. Or we like, try to at least. And then a lot of the time we be, we've been doing the food and stuff like kind of theming like Big Thunder. We got the fries. Oh, yeah. Like, it, oh, yeah. Like, stuff, like I like. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it helps me at least kind of get into the the mindset of yeah. talking about that thing, bringing up the nostalgia of that thing because that's really kind of what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. Is like we're, we basically started items. this because we were a bunch of dudes just nostalgic over a bunch of shit. And I was like, well, if we're yeah. talking about it, we may as well start putting it out. Yeah. Exactly. So people so, can talk so with us. I exactly. Can have some fries <laughs> while I talk about the roller coaster. It helps me. <laughs> it helps me. Be there. Exactly. Present in the moment. Zone in. <laughs> uh, what was that line from 21 Pilots? Uh, make a candle out of it. You know, the s- s- smell, song, Fucking oh, A. I Smell brings me back to the time when I was young. The stressed out song. I make a candle out of it. Okay, Ooh, never mind. I, I, I you know what I'm, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. The, like that specific smell that you're like. That smelly like, smell. It's like, oh, that smells, that smells like an old middle school pool. Smelly. And it brings me back to when I would go to the middle school pool all the time. You know what I mean? Just stuff like Chlorine. that. Chlorine. Yeah, I was just mm. like a smell brings you back to when I was young. That's the Chlorine mm. and urine. That's it. Yep. <laughs> but you won't find that out in Hawaii, hopefully. No, true. Well, urine still, but hopefully less oh, chlorine. Hawaii was so beautiful. Right. I've, you, wait, you've, been, you've been out there before? I've or? been to Hawaii. Oh, I yeah. haven't. I went, this one lived in Hawaii. Or was it once I went week? once for a week, like two years, three years ago. You lived out there yeah. for a year. Just but about. It, dude, it is so pretty. It is, I was on Maui most of the time. I did one day in Oahu, but... I like Maui more. I, I prefer <laughs> Maui. It's more um, relaxing. It's more like when I think of Hawaii, like relaxing yeah. on the beach, watching a luau, like you can be able to go to Mount Mount. I'm gonna, I always butcher it. Mount Haleakala, and then you can do the road to Hana, unless you get car road sick. Road to Hana was so scary. Yeah, Ugh. it was one way like bridges you have to cr- cross constantly. <laughs> like a, and you're constantly on the edge of like a yep. couple hundred foot drop off of. And I'm cliff. constantly looking over, be like. Not today, <laughs> not today. And there's like black sand beaches oh, okay. up there. Oh, they filmed on the great. island of Oahu. Okay, uh, yeah. I was curious which that island they filmed it on. That makes more sense. That's where Jurassic Park was filmed, mm-hmm. and that's where like King Kong and uh, you Lost. mean it wasn't filmed on uh, like Puerto Rico or <laughs> where, where was it supposed to be? Uh, what's the name of the island? I think it was Ooh. Costa Rica. Is is it Costa Rica? I thought the uh, tra- uh, the it has a. Actually. I don't know. Every Jurassic Park fan out there is like. I know, right? Fuck you guys. It's Isla does something. <laughs> you know, like, on Oahu, they have so many, like, they do oh, 50 Isla first Nub- Nublar. Isla or Nublar. But where is that at, like, actually? Costa Rica. So you were right with Costa okay. Rica. Cool. It's just, well, I do it's know my Jurassic Park shit. Costa Rica. Right? <laughs> Don't add them. You can at me, because I, I have no idea. I've been to that one spot where they film, like, some of the scenes. So that's about it. Most of my Jurassic Park, like, fan... I wasn't the hugest fan of the movies. I actually really loved the rides when I was younger, though. Whenever time I went on it. I the rides scared the crap out of me. Oh, dude. The I lost... So, so we'll get to it, because we'll probably hit the ride when we do a full episode, but I've got stories <laughs> for that one. Yeah, that, we'll that'll be a good one. one. On that. But, mm-hmm. dude, I, like he was saying, you get to tour through that area. I got to... They take you on, like, a quad through, like, the valley that... When it opens up, when, like I'm literally going through the center of the valley, and there's <laughs> mountains on the side, and there's birds flying across, and I'm just like surreal. Whoa. I played the music on my phone for myself. I was like, wait, Dun. that's the right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, that's yeah. the right thing. Right? Well, don't do too much of it. <laughs> well, you know, my singing is just so on point. It right. catches Dude, the algorithm. Stop, like, yo, YouTube is like, hold up, it's not yours. <laughs> I love the. Oh, yeah, I had, a, I had a journal last time. Like, mm-hmm. Why the hell do we have a pen on the table? Like, I, every time I saw one, I'm like, we'll probably need it at some point. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's kind of funny, but yeah. Well, let's move into the not so important news. Not we can so talk important more news. about Hawaii later. Do you want to do 2 1 or do you do 1 1 1? 1 1 1. Cool. 1 1 1. 1. Yes. Uh, okay, so my first article Nirvana sued by the baby from Nirvana's <sighs> album cover. So I've seen a couple For articles real? based. Yeah, I've seen a couple yeah. articles based off of this, like some follow ups. This too. son of a bitch, dude. I get the, like I get the grounds of it. Okay, I really do. It does seem inappropriate. You know what I mean? Like it's always kind of seemed weird to me. Yeah. 
But the fact that he was chill with it until he wasn't chill with it right. bugs me. Like, oh, I was like, oh. Bro did two different photo shoots for the anniversaries of it. Huh. He was just he was in swim trunks, obviously, mm-hmm. but like he did two different photo shoots recreating it. If it bugged you that bad, why did you do that? Right. Like I get maybe peer pressure, being, maybe like, peer pressure being like like he could have bothered him on the inside, and he just put up with it just because he knew it. But, literally something he always was. But he used it to you know? leverage himself into. You can like, be a dick, but you can also be in pain. I guess. That's true. <laughs> I guess. <man. laughs> Pain can make you be a dick, too. It felt so. like he used it for his advantage until it, did, it ran out of that, juice, and now that's he's honestly, getting money out of it. Which, mm-hmm. Okay, to be fair, he always should have gotten money out of it. If he didn't, if he wasn't getting a cut of money, then he definitely should be getting a cut of money. He should have. Yeah, that, that is that yeah. is where I'm like... If he hasn't if he gotten wasn't, money for it yet, yeah, if he hasn't gotten him. money for it, yeah, exactly. Then he definitely needs to get a fair cut of money. Yeah, yeah. It's like him on the mad. cover. I wonder yeah. how he got on the cover. Have you read any story about that? Like, is yeah, he a it was in there. Of... It was uh, they were like at a party. The parents were at a party and they gave him like a couple hundred bucks and a handshake or something to take the photo of him underwater because they were just was the photo yeah. for the album or was it just a random photo that Nirvana it, picked? I, it was as... like a random photo and then I think they picked it and then the no, they didn't find out until like three months later. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's huh. like I think it's some weird contractual thing. I have, I, I don't. If he feels like he deserves royalties for it, which he probably at least should deserve a more than a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, off I mean of absolutely. It. Get a couple grand. He deserves a percentage of whatever it made. You know what well, I mean? This, uh, is it the royalties or just like a flat check? Because if he's making royalties and it's backlogged the twenty years, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Thirty years that yeah. has been out, right? That's a lot of money. So because well, like the cover is like pretty impactful. Like it, it's yeah. a memorable thing. So it's like it's it's not just like oh it's just a picture. It's the music that matters. I mean like the, the uh, album art's gonna so bring people to the album, album art. I've been going to Zia yeah. a lot in the past month. I got a record player. I've been, addicted now <laughs> album covers when you're going to actual vinyls they really stick out like mm-hmm. they like i know what i'm looking for that sticks out like freaking lord just put out a new record with oh, her yeah. coochie right in the middle and it's covered up by the Those record really? label oh. and it's it's a, apparently it's not a good record i haven't listened to it oh. people are slamming it but it's just getting more flack for the cover than anything else so, i mean record covers mm-hmm. still deliver yeah, a, they point. Carry a lot of weight well you know s- well speaking of putting a sticker in front of it that's what the part part of this is th- they didn't put they were supposed to put the sticker in front of the dick hmm. and they didn't like it was supposed to be Every officially time. on the art uh, of the sticker the everyone dick. that got out through distribution was supposed to have a sticker o- covering the penis right but so I you'd have to buy didn't. it to actually see it yeah and i don't hmm. think that it happened that way <laughs> from the sound of it well yeah i've seen it well i mean eve also well, I guess there's probably something in the clause that, like, used places, because would ever used place have to put a sticker on the, di- you know what I mean? I yeah. mean, some places probably do it just that. out of, yeah. like, we want our store to be a little bit more kid-friendly, mm-hmm. he, cover it up a little bit. He says his parents never signed a release authorizing the use of his image. Because it was just a handshake and a couple hundred bucks, probably. Yeah. That's pretty rough. So, yeah, I mean, he's... It, maybe if it it does seem kind of dickish that it's coming out of nowhere and he's been chill with it, but I mean, could be just boiling up inside. He's like, I should really keep, have been paid for this. It's PR, but mm-hmm. it's something with artists. It's like you can do work for free, but you also should value yourself and your, have some money to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, he recreated Don't. the the tenth, twenty fifth, and twenty fifth anniversary. So three photo shoots. Yeah. So he, who knows? However, I mean, he has sometimes expressed ambivalence about the photo shoot. See, he could just not be wanting to do it, but just, you know, in a classic introvert is, I don't want to do it, but I will right. type just thing. feeling like he should because it's like... That's I mean, what you're the, the kid from the Nirvana want. cover album. If you say no, everyone's <clears> going to go, oh, look at this dickhead not doing it. Yeah. But like, why you know what I mean? Do it then you it's get a kind of like a yeah. peer... It's like... Yeah. Right. And even if you don't really want to, you'll do it. I mean, you're, he's not like he's actually naked. He's in boxers right. and stuff like that. So exactly, it's it's one of those things where it's like it, the articles can make it sound worse than it probably is. And yeah, mm. it does sound really dickish. But <laughs> yeah, he should be getting some money. And if he has really only never gotten any actual money from yeah, it, just got the PR. Get, the bag. get some fucking change, get dude. The bag. So yeah. secure yeah. the bag, guy. Cha-ching. I was, I'm. 
I, I think he definitely needs to get some money for it. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Definitely I mean, a huge part of the album. I do think he should have brought it up earlier before no, he did yeah, photo shoots. I don't think that helps his case in no. the slightest yeah. bit. That it, it, it sounds like an it, to me it sounds like an introverted person who is very afraid to do that because he doesn't want to pay for the legal fees to fight a record label as big as whatever yeah. hell sign Nirvana to do all that. It's like I don't want to mm. fight for this. I know I'm owed something, but I could just have fun with these photo shoots because that's all they're really asking of me. But I feel like I should be having some money for this shit. And the 30th anniversary is coming up, so. It's like, I think it's, is it, was it 91 or 92 when uh, uh, that remember. was released? I want to say 92. But yeah, it's coming up on the 30th, so yeah, he's probably thinking like, I want to try and maybe make something before this, so let's see, September 24th, 1991. Yep, so coming up on the 30th anniversary here, so. <laughs> it came out, what, two months before I was born? <laughs> crazy <That's> crazy <laughs> great timing for a lawsuit for it right great timing for pr i know right yeah. they should put out a 30th anniversary i don't have this one on vinyl yet <laughs> they probably they, will <laughs> they just put out like a altered version altered of cover <laughs> a permanent sticker uh, is that on the actual printing of it not on the plastic sheet covering it just a dickless baby hey they do it in movies and stuff you know what i mean yeah but yeah i don't know Anth why they just didn't do that because it was the 90s because yeah. Kurt Cobain was who he was <clears> and he had the they weren't as big as they were until that album so something they striking, had the power something that's gonna they were really the early 90s eye. were still the 80s it didn't yeah. kick off until really that mosh pit so <laughs> <laughs> yeah I really I wonder if he didn't ever get money from that that'd be shitty exactly as he might not have it from what no. it sounded like from what you said I hadn't read the article myself yeah, but it didn't really sound like they yeah. got paid out it's tough being I in the industry sometimes. He, did. he might not have. So no, I don't think he did. Because that was that would have been before the album release. Would have been before yeah. they really had a lot of money to give. I mean, he's one. He couldn't have worked out his contract. No, yeah, he's one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> what's your article today? So it's uh, about a truck that in Michigan that was hauling bees, and it crashed bees? and over bees. bees? No, it crashed and overturned. <laughs> Not the bees. And uh, no. it was carrying upwards of 50 million bees. No. Yeah. That's Did a lot of fucking bees, man. Did they all make it? <laughs> Seemingly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the things where they just had, like, they had, uh, they just had, like, beekeepers and handlers just come in to kind of get them all. And, like, no one, like, in the surrounding areas were, like, hurt. So there wasn't, like, swarms of bees everywhere. So what caused the accident? Uh, it, no. When I was reading through it, it didn't seem to say. But let me do a quick peek here. It's unfortunate. Imagine, like, you're just chilling, driving on the freeway, and some car is, like, in a tussle behind <laughs> you, and then just, uh, like, ahead of you. Like, you see it ahead. It's, it was an accident. You're like, oh, crap. The accident just happened. And then, like, bees just go out of the... It's like... <gasps> it's a bomb swarm of black and yellow death. Yeah, weird enough. Yeah, there's no... Uh, no it just count. says, yeah, it was crashing overturned along a north... Uh, northern michigan roadway but nothing nothing about the cause interesting he got stung by a bee and swore right <laughs> not the bees ow <laughs> fuck not the not bees. bees i'm allergic to bees <laughs> why are you driving a beekeeping <laughs> truck right they told me it was safe yeah they even had the local firefighters spraying water on the the boxes like their their containers and stuff just so they wouldn't like overheat it's this way they like, wouldn't have like all those bees just die just because I guess it was just that hot. And I guess over Jesus. blacktop, too, so then just, like, radiating all that heat, Cooking that extra bees. heat. Yeah. Roast bees. <laughs> <Jeez>. Roast beast. <laughs> roast. I'm just surprised that, like, all no one, the only people that got hurt technically beast. were the beekeepers. Like, no no locals or anything. That, as far as I know, the driver Well, bees, they'll be scared. That's the yeah, biggest yeah. thing. Bees aren't hostile unless they're threatened. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you get in an accident, you're out all of a sudden out and about. They'd be pretty fucking, fucking hot. Yeah, they'd, yeah, yeah. Be, they'd be. That's pretty... why I'm worried. Like from the swarm, or kind of just like fly randomly, and then if they get to a group of people, then they're gonna panic because they're like, "Why are there a bunch of bees here?" And the bees are gonna. Well, be like... they're probably not trying to get to the people. They're trying to get back to their that's their, true. their hives. That's so they'll also probably, probably stay why... close to the truck. Yeah, because if you've true. seen bees, they're usually always like together, like yeah, in a mass of just kind of scariness that's moving. Yeah. So it'll mean, yeah, it's 
terrifying, but... <laughs> but yeah. I guess, yeah, realistically, they had no reason to actually swarm. It was just yeah. probably the initial hit. Some of them probably kind of went crazy in that immediate area, but then, for the most part, just kind of chilled until they got saved. Yeah, those was pretty gnarly. I was like, 50 million? I'm like, that's so many bees. That's a lot of bees, man. It feels like uh, a standard 18-wheeler to have... Th- I, I'd assume it was a standard 18-wheeler, probably, to mm-hmm. have that many bees in it. Right. A little terrifying. But also, to think that 50, that's probably not a lot of insects in, in comparison to what's out there, which is just crazy numbers. Right. Thinking too big. All right, what's your article? Number three. This what do we got? People. From people? Belgian woman banned from zoo after four-year affair with chimp. Oh my God. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was cheating on her husband <laughs> with a chimp. With a chimp. <laughs> Uh, so it was a local woman at a local zoo in Belgium. Um, the chimp got there 30 years ago, and for the past four years, this person has visited them every single week. Hmm. And visited it with quotes over it. Well, they'll like go Hopefully up no. to the glass and like wave at each other and like make kissy faces and shit and like. Yeah, it's real weird, dude. Okay. Okay, so I thought this person was like breaking in and doing mean stuff, like animal cruelty. Yeah. But is it just, is it not? Is it? They're saying that it's negatively impacting his, um, like, social relationship with the other oh, chimps. Yeah, I can see oh, that. Oh, weird. Because like, he's constantly he's, focused on her. Yeah, he's an outcast of the other chimps now. Okay, mm. so the way you first worded that, I was thinking my mind I, went I, to I the went worst to, like, places. Really worse. Yeah. Like she was doing like, what the fuck mm-hmm. is she doing with the chimp? Yeah, no, it says an animal that is too focused on people is less respected by its peers. Huh. Okay. Yeah. So he's constantly waiting for her, and when they get there, they, like, make out through the glass? Basically, yeah. That's kind of... You think if you were, a hmm. like, an employee of a place that would, uh, you know, be having a lot of chimps, you'd occasionally see someone on a weekly basis kind of making out with a chimp on yeah, the glass. Yeah, I feel like you you I think that's it. how they got to banning her. Yeah, but four years... Took them a little while to kind of right. figure it out. Hey man, maybe she started slow. They took things slow. They, they just uh, waved across the edge. Yeah, like, just in passing. And then yeah. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, they banned her from that zoo. As they should. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, that's Beauty and the Chimp. Don't. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Disney's next hit. Beauty and the Chimp. As opposed to uh, this nice hit here. Which I never re- actually remember seeing. I know I watched this movie once before. Oh, well, you know what this lady did after she broke up with the chimp was she went to Hawaii to forget about the chimp. Oh. But the chimp was there. The chimp was in and Hawaii, had, dude. And the chimp How the th- had an English partner. I don't know the words. I was trying the, to go. The chimp was dating an Englishman. The sure, chimp was dating <laughs> Russell Brand. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next people that article was, that comes out. Uh, Russell Brand in an so, intimate affair with Chimp. I mean, so, I, I expect that. With these movies, uh, all the like Judd Apatow movies that came out in like the late 2000s, I remember watching them probably all at once. I think I missed most of them and probably watched them with one of our buddies. But I don't remember many of them. Like, I don't. I know I've seen Super Bad. I know I know I've seen this before, once before. Um, I I saw I Love You Man. That was the one I remember the most. Mm. I, that one's probably my favorite of them that I've seen that I remember, but um, I just guess I just missed this one. I didn't really remember much of it while watching it today. Mm-hmm. It was kind of a it was a fun experience. I was like, <laughs> okay, I kind of remember this. Like I certain scenes, like the beginning scene, penis. What a way like to start the three the times. I I'm so the sound right. Oof. Oh yeah. By the way, this is gonna be very not safe for work <laughs> because. Um, <laughs> This movie is very yeah, not safe for work. dick flapping, so then. <laughs> right there. And I managed to... So he's naked at both the not beginning and again. the yeah. ending of this movie. And yeah. I somehow missed both penises. I, the first yeah, time Nick we were eating, down both I was times. eating and I looked down. And the penis was huh? Nick had his <laughs> mouth full of meat when the meat was on the screen. You weren't wrong. And then I just... I think it was on my phone or something. Uh, writing down. I have a whole list of notes here. And then they're like, oh, you missed the penis again. I'm like, oh, what? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks, you missed the penis again. But no, I did catch it because you see it for a, it holds on a, a solid frame there, like a minute in, where it's like, oh, that's yeah, just. Yeah, it stays there for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's just penis. Um, but yeah. no, yeah, it's. Is this it a bird? Is it a plane? Nah, that's no. just penis. Nah, it's just Jason's penis. penis. That's a dick. <laughs> yeah. You know the trick. You, f- you don't even. I just want to be defiant. I just want to. Anthony picked up his glasses. 
and picked up the NES cartridge as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, this movie came out in 2008, and I just guess I missed it. It's what, I'm 13 years old at this point. Banger of a movie, dude. Mm-hmm. I like I, this movie a it lot. It was a little bit longer than I thought it would be, but it didn't feel super no, long. No, the pacing it of nice. it's really, yeah, it's good. really done well. There are a lot of quick jokes in it that mm-hmm. kind of hold it through. Yeah. There's so much talent in this film. A lot of talent. Holy Subtitles crap, really helped cast. Too. That movie casted it really well. Yeah. Like uh, so, um, the Kristen Bell. The thing I know her from the most is The Good Place, mm-hmm. and it wasn't until about maybe halfway through the film, which I felt like her character started getting more focused about halfway through the film, that I realized it was her, and oh. I was just like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> like she just started to wear her hair to the side a little bit different, and yeah. I'm like, "Oh, okay, I recognize her." And I pulled up my phone. I'm like, "Oh shit, it is her." Okay, I just I just missed the credits. We were eating when we first watched this. That amazing Hawaiian food, but uh. so funny enough, like. Like because uh, so, uh, so recognizing that character. Do you remember in Assassin's Creed? It was the Desmond. It was the girl and the, the lab assistant. The lab assistant. That's the same ca- person. Like that she voices that character. Yeah. So like the that's one why that dies like in like the fourth Assassin's Creed. Spoiler alert, dude. dude. They're on like fourteen I'm, I'm totally now. Kidding. It's like a ten year old game. <laughs> right. It. Past the statute of limitations on that. But yeah, but it's because of this movie and that why me and Brian have the joke. Like, uh, I think it was during like those light later games when like uh, leading up to her. Like uh, dying, that was like okay because she's like telling you to do stuff or like listening to her because she's helping you at first or like well, I guess helping you in general. It's like okay, Miss Marshall, because like realizing it's her and that's why. So me and Brian have that association between that game and this movie. Huh. That's why she's like okay, Miss Marshall. Huh. Well, yeah, the first Assassin's Creed was two thousand seven, uh, two was two thousand nine, so that makes sense. Checks mm-hmm. out. Timeline works in this right. reality. <laughs> Eagle Vision. It all checks out. <laughs> but yeah, no, so. Uh, one thing from watching it now in hindsight, do you guys know what all happened to Russell Brand? Like, it, didn't he get into a lot of controversy and shit in the past couple of years or something like that? Yeah, I don't remember what about, but I I do know there's some some yeah. some shit. I don't know. Oh, okay, I just knew he had like there's a lot of shit going along with him after he did all these movies. That's mm-hmm. why he really hasn't done much since. But yeah, eh. I thought if you guys knew it about it, bring it up, but. I guess not. So back <laughs> out of that article. And JK just slowly Lord. walk away from that. <laughs> but no, yeah. Uh, Ooh. The, ah. Flip it. I know Please Bill flip. Hader in this film is pretty funny. Right. He's Bill. not in it a lot, but. Bill Hader's one of my favorites. He's so darn funny. Holy crap. And he nails that role. Like, <laughs> just being just the friend that you need just to ground you to be like, you, you're, you're doing some stupid stuff. I will end you. Right? He's like, you really want to have this conversation? Sure, you want to have this conversation? My mother of the fuck, I'm a yes. child. <laughs> that was so. <laughs> that, that, I'm related. You're nothing to me. <laughs> that's. I, this is one of those things where because I haven't seen this movie too much, watching it with you guys, and you when you repeat lines like as they say it, I'm like, okay, that's an iconic line. Let me write that down. So I got actually a decent number of them that you guys like repeated really quickly. <laughs> it was pretty funny. I just uh, need to find. I notes. always, as much as I've watched it, I always forget that the weather outside is, is weather is I from this movie. <sighs> Oh my god, my notes here. I love my first fucking note is big bowl of cereal. Oh right. god, yeah, he sits fucking down with that giant, giant ass bowl. bowl. <laughs> Which is a plot device throughout the movie. It's definitely not yeah. a Chekhov's gun. They use that multiple times throughout <laughs> this film. <laughs> Even right. for some character development a little bit later on in the film. He uses it for pasta later on. <gasps> Spoiler alert. And cereal. And cereal. He's grown, cereal? but he knows it basically shows that he knows when to be an adult and when to be a kid. Exactly. Because mm. that is something that they didn't really touch on in this film a little bit until the whole thing with Kristen Bell at the end where she kind of like tells him like, oh, you kind of were the asshole. Because we never really got to see that until that point. Yeah, it was so all it was his kinda, perspective. It was a reveal that like we can believe it based upon what we've seen mm-hmm. from his character development. It's like, it, didn't have, it wasn't one of those like twists that it's like, oh, it came out of nowhere. It's like, oh yeah, I can totally see that. I can see him kind of ignoring any... Thing to, for her to do that because mm. we've all been there. What is if you work from home, you go in for a little bit and do some stuff, mm-hmm. it's easy to get lost. But yeah, sound design, sound designer on the d- oh, yeah, the dick. Oh, yeah, the <laughs> 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 to be the scent, the Foley artist that day. All right, I we might not even need a Foley artist, they may have just got a real good mic that day. Who knows? All right. How far away is the mic from Jason's dick? I got it like three inches away. <laughs> All right. You might you need, need to, to back it like up. A, yeah, you like might a... need to back it up a little bit. It might be a little too loud. All right, Jason, go. <laughs> Perfect. 
<laughs> ten out of ten. Uh, we a- got it. Uh, hey, can you mic the balls a little bit too? <laughs> so Cup your... the balls, please. <laughs> be, in the mind. What's be my L on somebody's tease. I love that one. <laughs> that reminds me of there's a Ninja Sex Party song where it's like you want to S my D. Oh F- yeah, M- yeah. It's like <laughs> oh, man. that's another good Bill Hader scene when he's at the bar. Oh, dude, he's like, oh, like, I don't want a relationship. I just want, like, casual sex or whatever. And he's just like, he's like, you want, you want a real back there, buddy? <laughs> he's just like, I just want, <laughs> I just got a five year. There's a lot of secondhand awkwardness in this movie. But yeah. even uh, up in, until that one scene where you pointed out, like, this is the most awkward scene I've ever had. I could stomach most of the secondhand yeah. awkwardness. Mm-hmm. That is an issue with some of this type of comedy is it relies on some awkwardness. And some of it hits. Some mm. of it doesn't. This movie mostly hit all of its second hand, uh, hand awkwardness. One of the first ones is, um, well, for one, when he's talking to that girl at the bar, and he's like, yeah, I'm single recently out of a five-year relationship. <laughs> he's just, like, opening up completely. Mm. But then it goes into the sex montage. The awkward sex montage. And then, oh, God, all of them all are just second-hand cringe. Just, uh, hi. Hi. Just hi. Like, I was like, just hi. <laughs> hi. 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 Did you stop saying that? You want to gag like, me? And she's like, she's like, now he like, kind of <laughs> wants to now, yeah. God, that's so funny. And then the one girl that just like, like really nonchalant, yeah, yeah, I came. <laughs> it's like so emotionless. It's like, what the fuck? Oh, dude. That sex montage and then the good luck Chuck one. Oh, yeah. The two are very similar in like comedy style. Mm-hmm. What are you googling over there? I for, I so I wrote down in the Noka Stad because he oh, uses yeah. it. I was like, what the fuck? It's oh, a ski yeah. resort. No, oh in yeah, Switzerland. When he's places to go in. Yeah, oh, I was yeah, because like, he the says hell? the Alps. Yeah, it's the Alps mm. Gestad. Okay, I was like, what the hell is Gestad? And I also uh. spelt it very wrong. <laughs> so I was also like googling around my spelling. Mm. I'm like, how the hell do you spell this? <laughs> Freaking Swiss words. They do a Marvel's What If for forgetting Sarah Marshall, where he goes to the Alps instead, and he just has a good time skiing. <laughs> the movie's like an hour and a half of just like just having a good time. Yeah, yeah there's uh, there's a 20 minute montage where he's in a hot tub with cucumbers over his eyes, yeah. just listening to like fucking the Who. And then, it, <laughs> and then it's uh, <laughs> it's like slapstick comedy rather than like this mm. style of comedy, right? You know? Something I like one on one Dalmatians. Yeah. Yeah, someone just leans over and eats the cucumber off his eye. You know? I don't know why that was the movie I went to. I don't know either. Well, you said Ski Alps, and the first movie I thought of was On Her Majesty's Secret Service, which is a Bond film, which is a, would be a totally different Jason Seagal movie, but I could see him as James Bond, like an American version. I don't. I thought of um, yeah. Hot Tub Time Machine. Mm. Oh, Hot Tub Time Machine. I don't know at if they're some... at a ski resort, but I think they're in a cold place. I remember place being and... skiing, right? I thought so. I don't, I don't know. I Maybe. saw that movie once at a drive-thru, and yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, that's how I, yeah, yeah, I vaguely we were all have there. an idea of that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that movie very much at all. None of us do. No. But yeah, so once once he goes to Hawaii to start actually forgetting her, that is the most stereotypical touristic Hawaii resort destination mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. ever. I, do, <laughs> I, I feel like it's almost like fake. But that's only my only suspension disbelief that there's all the resort people would stay in that resort. Yeah. So like, cause it's Hawaii, you go out and do places, you know. Yeah. Why would you? I know. This is yeah, the they are time. they are getting a 24k gold gift basically by taking that room for six days. Yeah. He, Holy crap! He gets that room from her where it's just like, that's where you have to really put the suspension of disbelief. You're like, okay, there's no way she's able to just let this random guy. Right, stay like, in a six thousand dollar a night room <laughs> for six nights. For six nights straight, minus a couple. They only kick him out because Dakota Fanning. Dakota right. Fanning. Like I was the, trying to think. I'm need like, the room. It, God, there's so many dated <laughs> references that are just so perfect. <laughs> God, oh, God. So just looking at my notes, I, I with my notes usually I'll put like a, a like a sentence to kind of remind me of a scene, mm. and I have like. Three frame tantric sex. Jesus <laughs> I'm just like I look at it. and I'm like, what is that? Mo-? Like, oh God, I remember. <laughs> yeah, just out of nowhere, just yeah. Oh, it was a very quick shot too, and they're just like, excuse me, what? It's like scene, scene, scene. When they done. go to their room, and then they're just like fucking, just so intensely. <laughs> God. Yeah. How about that? Oh, it's talking about secondhand awkwardness, though. Um, that couple. 
Yeah, the newlyweds. Yes, the, the newlyweds. newlyweds. Yeah. God. Freaking fix it, yeah. Felix, and then having a nympho. For... It is fix it, Felix. <laughs> yes. That, I, okay, I was like, I know that actor from a couple things, but I didn't think that that makes sense. God. Yeah, that's yeah. that's some funny stuff right there. I like that. <laughs> None of us will burn. And then fucking the chessboard. Oh, right. You, what you need to do is penetrate and stimulate the clitoris at the same time. If you're going to add... Simultaneously. Anus, that's good, too, or something. If you right. add the anus in, that's... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pretty I can't funny. remember yeah, the, the word he uses, but it just, like, yeah. like optimal perfect, something like that. Yeah. Just like, yeah, the couple's pretty funny. Like... Because you yeah. don't see much of the girl. It's mostly just the guy bitching about how he doesn't know and how to do anything. Right. And yeah, just how being he doesn't so really like, want to do yeah, anything. He's yeah, he's so like, uncomfortable. So I like, would say, like, you he he feel like he didn't want to do anything, and then Russell mm-hmm. showed him, and I was like, it was good. Yeah. I didn't right. know where they were going with his character. Yeah, it was kind it was of... also like, yeah. Yeah, it was kind of all over the place there for a minute. And he had nice resolution. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then he realized, he's like, I'm so lucky. <laughs> He saw Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, um, the freaking... And so I'm just going to go through at least like some of the characters and cast that are there. There's like mm. the, the chillest bartender, right. too. Yeah, the, the fish guy. Mm-hmm. I know it's all the fish. G just starts listing them all yeah, off. Yeah. And it's and like, all right, buddy. Fish. And I still don't know how to say. State fish. Yeah, holy crap. Like 31 freaking letters. Huma, <laughs> huma. Huma, huma. Right. Hmm. Something. Bitch. <laughs> And then the freaking Kunu. Oh, yeah, right. Kunu. Freaking good old Paul Rudd. Love Paul Rudd's character in this yeah, one. So like good. He's, he's like, yeah, any weed? <laughs> okay, cool. No, I, yeah, I, right. I like how the whole thing for his character is he's like tripping the whole time. He, like, <laughs> he doesn't, doesn't even. He doesn't every know, like, scene is like a new at, version of Kunu. Yeah. It's like, is he all right, dude? <laughs> hey, I'm Kunu. Just <laughs> met. I put it on this <laughs> online know, website. Cool. Right. <laughs> And then he, when he goes for Peter, he's like, okay, Peter, what's your name? Uh, Panupalupi or like whatever it is. Papiopi. It's like, Papiopi. Papiopi. <laughs> and it's like, wait, he didn't go on an online website. He just kind of just like... <laughs> he just fucking made it up on the spot, guy. <laughs> very curious if Kunu actually means Chuck. <laughs> Let's search up. We've got our brightest minds on the job. I'm freaking when... Uh, Russell Brand's character is like after getting like the coral like stuck in his leg, ah. he's like, "Oh, can you please bring me a towel?" He's, you know, I'm bleeding a lot. He's like, oh, "Is that like you're from London?" <laughs> like he starts, ah, like, you imi- sound like you're from starts, London. Eh? <laughs> he starts imitating his freaking yes, accent. Yes, I'm from London. Uh, he's just, like, I... bleeding out on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> the situational awareness is negative. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. And then there's all um, freaking young, uh, freaking Jonah Hill. Right, just being absolute cringe the entire Dude, time. Dude, the worst. I host. love his character. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the mixtape. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all right, this I really just bought this. You know, put my demo. Uh, I really think you'd like it. Uh, he brings it over like the like the most like awkward time to bring it over when a couple's like having an argument and. Housekeeping. Right. And so I'm just going to bring this thing that was definitely a gift from the hotel. It's not a personal thing for me, so you can listen to my demo. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Dude, I went from six to midnight. <laughs> <laughs> a weird yeah, fucking thing to say. The, oh, oh, dude. He gets that hard on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dude, I can't find it. What are you looking for? I think they like literally it? just made up a word, dude. The Kunu? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just made up a word. All right. Wow. That's about right. Just gonna, you just got to find the website he went to, man. That's the key. Oh. <sighs> That's what I figured. Yeah. I don't see. I just searched it up, and it's all just quotes and stuff from mm-hmm. the movie. So, uh, r- rest in peace. I'll have to find that website. Request mm-hmm. de empache. Request de empache. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many dated references in the movie though that they're not they're not bad dated references. They're just like oh, like Flavor of Love, Sean John, uh, like the razor, the razor phones. phones yeah. Very late. It's just to like early uh, 2000s. Mm-hmm. Yep, I can. Uh, why are you the dingling? In yeah. that? heard it through that. Yeah, at first I thought it was like a phone going. off. I know. That's what I was like, hell? my phone's not going <laughs> off. I was really confused there for a second. Get the, the. Oh yeah. It's a very refreshing drink. I really mm-hmm. like it. So yeah, far. yeah, no, I'm digging it. Now oh, that's got the coconut in it. It's a little bit more palatable. 
But yeah. Jason Segal is actually a really good pianist. Yeah. Mm. I was He's a really good musician. Yeah, overall. Yeah. He can sing really you well. You weren't too, expecting yeah. it? No, I just I haven't really seen much of his stuff where he sings and does stuff. I as Muppets. I said, I haven't seen well, other than the Muppets. He did the whole like he wrote like mm. most of that Muppet soundtrack. Which this feels like a precursor, like his resume mm-hmm. for the Muppets. Yeah. I mean he's got a whole puppet show at the end, which right. holy crap, puppet shows are expensive and the quality of effects and all the the cast members that would be expensive as yeah. puppet show he would not be making any money off of that he had a higher bill of hater alone high bill of hater alone <laughs> i know right well it was 2008 bill hater i mean he's yeah. probably he's worth a little bit more now mm, yeah absolutely <laughs> now that he's been an inside out fuck oh when life gives you lemons fuck the lemons okay <laughs> I, just, I just have fuck the lemons on there i'm like why do i just fuck the lemons I mean, but, portal. But, but don't fuck the limits. <laughs> oh yeah, and the webcam, the the black oh, yeah. magic. You can't do that without a green screen behind <laughs> you. I'm on the moon. He's like, I'm he's like, he's like, just, just, just stop. And then the, the shit, like with his wife, like trying to like talk right, into the a mic, little bit more like up. lower, like up, looking kind of back down. <laughs> there, there were a couple of those jokes where, like, I felt like they went on a little long, a little long, but they didn't go on too long. There's right. there's a little bit of wonky writing in this that I picked up on. Like mm. it's definitely an earlier ish yeah. kind of Judd at, but uh, it's not that re- he's done a couple before this. So. Well, he's been writing shit forever, but they there's just like a couple lines were worded weird. Like how I think we were oh, talking right. about like the um, when Sarah Marshall and Peter are talking mm. and they kind of get into that fight, and then she's saying how he's always on the couch, but the way she words is is like. You were always sitting on that island of yours, comma, the couch. Mm. And it's just like the way she says it was just like you either should have just said you were always sitting on the couch or you were always on that island of yours. Right. And like to to say the metaphor and then explain the metaphor makes the audience feel either dumb or it just makes the sentence feel weird. Yeah, because it kind of takes you out of it. Because then it's like, yeah, you feel like you're being explained something versus watching yeah. someone have a regular dialogue. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. here, I'm going to say this thing, and then here's why. Here's what this thing is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Marshall. Knock, Jeez. knock. Go fuck yourself. Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's Whoa! Catch you if you can. Come on. That, okay. Whoa! No, yeah, I was... <laughs> I had, I mean, you said. And now you have to explain why it's funny. Because it's from Catch Me If You Can. It's a knock knock. I know. I know. My joke was a joke on that joke. Oh. It's jokeception right now. I'm not going to. We're not going to. Miss Marshall already did it. (laughs) I'm not going to do it to you. Okay. I respect you too much. Yeah, Yeah. no. This was a movie that I. uh, It's it's almost kind of. When doing the notes for this, it almost was kind of exhausting. Like, I can tell (laughs) at my notes, like, about maybe halfway through, I really, like, stopped putting as many as I did. Yeah, with, like, four questions or three questions. Well, because that's what they do. They're like, yeah. That's Uh, my biggest issue with my notes is I'm doing. I mm -hmm. quote an end of a scene, and I'll have to try and remind myself of Mm -hmm. the scene. Biggest issue is I just saw this film, so it he doesn't work quite as well f- mm-hmm. for this movie. I just right. read a note that said he's dead already. Yeah. Is, what are we watching? The Sixth Sense? No, that's a quote. These are all quotes from the movie. Like, oh, he's dead already. That was um, so six and midnight. So it was after the scene. Um, he was. That was after the surfing. Oh, the pig. The pig. The pig. Oh, yeah, yeah. The. the he's the like, pig. you stop yeah. crying. He's already dead. That's Sorry. my <laughs> issue. Is I'm thinking well, that's a fucked up scene. So I'll write like a quote at the end of the scene, and I don't have time to process it because I'm doing this right after we mm. broke the format. My notes lost some quality, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit. I just watched this movie an hour ago, and I can't remember most of these because it is a very densely written movie. There's yeah, there's a lot. In there's there. there's some establishing shots, but there's a lot of characters, a lot of big names, a lot of stuff going on. So it it's really i definitely want to have to watch again because mm-hmm. big characters big names big, big wieners yep 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 are on Multiple the same page ones. with that one no, i saw that coming from a mile away who couldn't it was so big i know <laughs> 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 but yeah no uh so beverage so fresh anthony going <sighs> yeah that was, that was it yeah but yeah, some of the notes are just like uh, kiss, we both could, down thumb emoji yeah that was a terrible kiss <laughs> which kiss well, he went to go, like, in the car, and she went, oh, oh that one yeah, that then our kiss. boy was down bad. Our boy's down bad. Yeah, his <laughs> kiss did not go good. No, that, well, yeah, that wasn't even, yeah, that was yeah, an no, attempt bro. at a kiss. That was exactly, a, it didn't even let work. Let me give you a smooch? Nope. Oh. 
Ooh. He's down. Yeah. Or how about R.I.P. Get the medic when uh, they're going on that hike and Jason Segel almost or Peter oh, almost yeah. dies. Yep. <laughs> Well, oh, for yes. one, who thinks it's a good idea to jump off of that thing no in one. flip-flops? Slippers. <laughs> flip-flops. <laughs> Either Two out or of three. are a bad idea. <laughs> They're in Hawaii slippers. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm okay. Just, I'm just, just, saying. Just, just saying. I believe you. <laughs> Says the person. You, you'll actually I, get I hazed you. if you... If you Say, I'm not there. How are they going to haze me? I'm, just, I'm saying they're... Well, not right now, obviously. <laughs> they will haze In you if you're there, there and you say it the wrong way. This drink is actually poisoned. It has the word <laughs> Hawaii in it. They somehow poisoned it. <laughs> <laughs> the drink activates when they... Like, whenever fuck. you say the word sandal, your drink activates with poison cyanide. It's an elaborate dough. That is pretty elaborate. That's what makes it blue. True. No, the blue curacao is what makes it blue. Oh, I thought it was the poison... But yeah, I. Do you guys have any more topics about the movie, or just go over I'm my notes? To, I'm trying to use your to notes. My to notes to that, going. but yeah, I mean, like, it. it I, there's a lot of more music in this than I thought there would oh, be. Oh yeah. I wasn't expecting. Like one of my favorite scenes for songs was the psychiatrist thing because that was oh. just a mental breakdown song <laughs> that was just like, bro. <laughs> I should see a psychiatrist. Psych- <laughs> I was just like, uh, I don't want to go to this. Psych- go see one anyway. <laughs> <laughs> just like. I like how it was oh. still like in that style of his like rock opera. Yeah, which I liked his rock opera. Mm-hmm. All right. It's actually pretty good. I Definitely like, like a precursor to like a Muppetsy sort of like That's what I'm saying. This is his resume over. for the Muppets. Yeah. 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 Like, well then like earlier on, like when he's like sitting at the piano and he, like, he's like really upset and he's just, like doing like the intro for the Muppet show. <laughs> he's just like like kind of <laughs> just, like, the, the most saddest version that you'll ever hear of that. Oh dude. <laughs> Uh, one, of, one, one of my favorite comedy bits in this is Russell Brand getting the shirt oh. from Sarah Marshall, oh. and he does not, not want to wear that it. fucking shirt, dude. He Any chance he gets, like, oh, she, she got me the shirt. So, like, <laughs> did Russell Brand get drunk in that scene? No, he just spilled it on himself because he, yeah. it, everyone else was getting drunk. The way it was cut and edited, I couldn't tell. It, right. Yeah, because I was like, should we be he making was, a bigger deal out of the fact that he broke his? Thing. That's like what I was sobriety, trying to think. Because yeah. I'm like, did he break it? I didn't. He, I as in my first time the watching cranberry it. Juice. Mm. I know, but it, he was acting. That's something you think a drunk person would do in a movie. Like yeah. other movies have shown drunk people spilling shit on themselves, mm. and everyone else at the table is drunk. So my mind just put two and two together that he was drunk, and because he said like cocktail sauce, like cranberry, and I I, I didn't know if that had right. alcohol I, in I, it. I, I like you know, Long too. Island tea as is alcohol, so yeah. I'm just, I didn't know if that was one of those things. Like cranberry cocktail actually has alcohol in it, and I'm Russell right. Brand didn't know. I'm I pretty didn't know sure if that he was didn't. a plot mm. point. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure he didn't. No. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> take my eyes, but not the shirt. Yeah, take my eyes, but not the shirt, please. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just freaking <laughs> Are the sex off? <laughs> yeah, that's that. Well, uh, before we get to the sex off, the room layout ain't right for that. Yeah, so as we talk I, about. I noticed that, and I asked the boys. I was like. This room layout, I think they're using the same room twice. Mm. Like, each person is, is using the same room set because if you look at the way that the room's laid and out. And the like, way they shot it. They shot one couple from one angle and the other couple from the other. Yeah. To kind of trick us. Because mm. their <laughs> rooms are supposed to be, like, the door entrance is here. Yeah. So then, like. You I think that the beds would be, a, a, like, yeah. like, side to side like this at the end. But then they're, like, presented like they're both like this and they're yeah. far away. But then make, the scene would make as much sense because you wouldn't hear the other room as well. Yeah. If they're at the other side. Exactly. So it just everything's all backwards. But hey, again, it's a bunch of just one of those. He's, yeah, he got us twenty four thousand dollars worth of hotel room for free. So well, this wasn't that hotel room though. They got they moved. This him was down. A Do you think he one. had to start mm. paying for that hotel room once he got moved down? I don't know. Because he so. was kind of staying there for free. Right. Yeah, I think he might have had to start. <laughs> yeah, had to start. Well, you're moving down to Although a real room. he was we need fucking to... the hostess, so I don't know. She might have comped. Yeah, him. she might have comped him. She comped. I mean, him the other fuck. <laughs> I know, right? Seriously. But he didn't stay there for all six days, so it wasn't exactly twenty four hundred. Only probably eighteen hundred. Yeah. Wait, six thousand and nine. I can't even do math. Six by six is thirty six thousand. Yeah. Well, because I think it was, it was originally four nights. I thought. Oh, was it four nights or six? I don't remember. I thought so. But yeah. Did they end up staying longer, and then that's why they needed the room? Maybe? I don't know. They did. That is one of the issues with the film is they try to present it with the timeline, but it kind of falls. I'm it's like, how long is it. he on the? Yeah. Actually, how long is this movie take place? Like a week. I right. think probably about a week, but it feels it like yeah, because they present really it in the beginning like they're gonna have help us keep track. But day really night, day no night, day night, but not really. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to tell. Mm-hmm. And then that second hand embarrassment humor of him having to do the Dracula scene when he's in the bar. 
Right. See, I, when you, you preempted <laughs> that with, like, this is one of the worst scenes ever, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, there's it, some bad to it. You can watch kind of people get away, but then, you yeah. know, it ends well because she kind of yeah. hypes him up for it. Yeah, and no, everything. it ends well. It's just, like, yeah. one of those things where it's just, like, oh, man, like, I could feel, like, myself in that situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he and really it's presented just, like, the... He really doesn't want to do it is more like the, like, I'm projecting empathy is more or less yeah. what it is. Is like, Well, oh, it's man, also, like, he feels like he didn't want to, like, he wasn't good enough and yeah. she was forcing mm-hmm. him to kind of for lack of a better of audience play test it mm-hmm. see how you feel like performing it mm-hmm. are you going to be able to do it or are you going to chicken out into it you and know he, he definitely you can tell he feels weird at the beginning of it because he's like rolling his eyes and, and like, he goes to start I, and he kind of like he, yeah, he backs off and plays it again yeah he, plays yeah. he like rolls it through yeah because he's just like uh like i felt it felt very genuine like he was just like i think he portrayed that very well like well, if he's a musician, he's probably been there before, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't really want to do this, or I don't want yeah, to, I'm, I'm nervous about this, so mm-hmm. you can easily project that. Right. But and by the end, he was really getting into it. Yeah. So. Yeah, like, just really You can really tell he actually vocals. has passion about, like, that idea. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Die. I should see Van Helsing. <laughs> like, he just gets so into it. <laughs> it's, it's really good. It really is. It's very. I feel like you have to with that kind of song, though. Yeah. If you were half assing that, it wouldn't come across the same. Mm, not at all. It, it, it very theatrical. It has to yeah. be done like that. Which is why it's the perfect resume for the Muppets, because you mm-hmm. just gotta go to ten for their right. type of content, yeah. or else it's just the jokes don't land. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. For sure. Hence the second Muppet movie. It just is kind of bland, and it just kind of fell apart. So. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tear. Uh, Tear. But yeah, no, it's. I, I, I really liked the flow of the movie. It, there was so many individual scenes that were all had quotable bits. There's just almost mm-hmm. too much to talk to without having a list and breaking them down each one, which mm-hmm. I tried to do, but there was just yeah, so was going so fast. Mm-hmm. But no, yeah, my my favorite probably scene that I could remember probably was the um, yeah, probably the the scene where they're shouting at each other. That was one that I was like, oh my god, they're really doing this, you know, the whole. Oh, oh, I was like, all right, can, can you get off? I'm, I'm done. Russell Brand. Oh, yeah, Russell. Like, okay, all right, all right, I'm all right, done. All right, please stop. Oh, and then the immediate thing that? discussion, like what she's saying about him is like, oh, it was, so was that genuine or were you faking it? I know. Yeah, was, like, it, oh. was, that, was that genuine? No. And then like, he says it so like, I know I won this already, but I'm just going to let you know that I won. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he just, oh, just saw already, uh, I've already got you on the grill. Let me just roast you. All right. Dude. My favorite scene is the... The whole thing where Bill Hader is uh, going up to him, like he's burn, uh, Jason Siegel's burning the photos and stuff, and then he's so, like the whole thing is like, oh, uh, she's a, like a better girlfriend or whatever than like your wife or whatever, and then he's like, do you really want to have this conversation? Yeah, and, they and he's like, do you really want to have this conversation right now? He's like, yes. Like he says it so yes. like, like a, like a kid would. Yes. And oh. then he just freaking goes off on them. And then as I he's doing it. that, you can see like that's why subtitles are so perfect for movies like this. You see the little nuances because like, like. You're so focused on Bill Hader, you kind of miss some of what Jason's saying. But then, like, you just see, he's like, sorry. He's like, my bad. Like, I'm sorry. Like, he's like apologizing as it's happening because he realized he's like, I didn't want this really. And I'm really sorry that I said this to you. I really, I really like um, the scene when they're all having dinner with each other. Oh, the, yeah, and the it's just one. really awkward. And so then they, they all just start ripping into uh, Sarah Marshall's movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Just like, yeah, a cell phone, it couldn't fucking kill you, just dude. Take like the battery out, man. Yeah, just take the battery. My favorite scene. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it, it came out. Right. It's it's, it's a metaphor. It wasn't for everybody. It's a metaphor how technology is like consuming is like and it's like, oh, it's a metaphor for a bad movie or for shit, a shit movie. movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like damn. Uh, <laughs> we just, well, just, we've all seen those type of movies that get a bit too preachy. And yeah. it's just like, mm. all right, buddy. Oh. Like no, it can just be a bad movie. Even if I had a, it doesn't mean more than just like what Tommy Wiseau does. It's like it wasn't. It was just a bad movie. It wasn't a dark comedy. Just get over it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have to do uh, a get him to the, the Greek. Yes, mm-hmm. same style. We'll, we'll watch that and then we'll talk about it. I yeah, because I've still I know I haven't seen Get Him to the Greek. Which that is was crazy. All. That's a yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a really good follow up to this movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's the same character as you guys said, right? It's yeah. Russell Brand's character, just like a couple snow, years yeah. later, probably, because it came out two years later. So yeah, yeah. but yeah, oh, we'll have to add that next onto the list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, we watched the trailer for it, so I can kind of see what it was. Basically, you said Jonah Hill's playing a different character. It, probably, I, mean, I think yeah. so. They never clarify. He seems to be a different character. It he's seems not like it based is. Out, 
He, he looks well, obviously a couple years older, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It's either yeah. the same character with a lot of character progression, or it's a different character. Probably yeah. just as different. Yeah. Either yeah, way, I'm cool with it. Actually, yeah. It functions the same way. Either. Yeah. I remember the name of Jonah Hill's character from this movie was Matthew because oh, he had okay. it on his name tag. Oh, yeah. So I just to search up, get him to the Greek right here. Boop. Now let's look at a, a quick Google search. I feel like us. in the trailer, it, I, I feel like it wasn't Matthew. That doesn't sound right. Aaron Green was yeah. Jonah Hill's name. Yeah. So yeah, he's so a different character. completely different character. Yeah. But acts Which makes almost sense. exactly the same as he does. Like I think he's oh, like really? a little bit less awkward because he was super. He's a fanboy like, in it. It's like the same. Yeah. It's like written as the same guy basically. Oh okay. Yeah. This he's a different job. He's yeah. the main character instead of a side comic really. He, he's an, <laughs> yeah, and he's an A and R guy at a record label rather than a. Yeah, so he has a little bit more weight. Yeah, like of a character, like he actually means more, I guess, to the the canon of the of the show. I guess or the show. The movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not just, which I like. I mean, it works. I think it like it wouldn't have worked as well if he was like the same type of character, because then it would have been all Russell Brand. Like it would have been him carrying the whole movie. Like it needs a dynamic of both of them being involved, because they'll have that like back and forth, as you'll see. Like he'll kind of stand his ground, but then he'll be like, okay, I'll do what Russell says, because I need to do what he, I need to get him to where he needs to go. And then they'll have it back and forth, so it's like a lot of tug of war with trying to get stuff done. So that it's a good dynamic. It sounds it like really a party well. from beginning to end. Is what it the trailer really looked like. Is. So it just keeps going. So it's pretty much a similar thing like this. It kind of it's good pacing. It just kind of keeps going and going, and then you just don't know when it's gonna stop. Must be. A, uh, it's been a while since this is the first one of the. Been a while uh, since I first saw <laughs> these films. So. Um, <laughs> I, I don't really remember most of them, so I, the, the pacing on them probably are all pretty good. I just I just mm-hmm. end up fucking Pro- slamming you with a bunch of Judd Apatow. Yeah, here we'll get them. I, probably not all in a row, but we'll knock them out. Yeah, all in a row. Yeah, all in a row next week. Give them a greet. Just kidding. Yeah. But we're still going to do uh, like I Love You Man as well. Yes, that one I want to do because I remember that one vividly. That was my favorite of his yeah, films. I remember. Like 40 year old virgin. Mm-hmm. Super so bad. he did that one too. Yeah. Okay, so I knew Super Bad. I knew that this. Give him to the Greek. I love you, man. Knocked up. No, he did knocked mm. up too. Okay, yeah. I've seen that one. I like that one. Okay, Tastes good. I guess I could just group them into like the more, I guess, comedy ones and the versus the more drama ones. Yeah. So, because mm. they are still comedy, but you know, tone is I guess a little bit different on them. So, yeah. for sure. Uh, you guys have any more final comments? You about ready to wrap it up on this Hawaiian vacation? Um. <laughs> oh, you're doing the luau. <laughs> no, it's the... <laughs> yeah, I'm, do- I'm doing the luau. What, yeah. what, what, what would the, the luau and... Did he say what it actually was? The it's a hula. Well, he kept saying, yeah, it's supposed to be the hula. Yeah, okay, I forgot. I thought, they had, hula. I thought uh, jokingly they had two wrong names that they were going between, like... Because uh, he was, he, I think he was saying, was he saying something? No, I think no, he was just repeating. Like, you do a hula dance at a luau. Yeah. No, I know. Well, of course I know that. Come on. I don't care. I'm just. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why I had to think about. Of course, no. I had the joke because I'm like my my default. I'm going to say it the right way, then the joke won't land. Yeah, I have no uh, point of reference. I've never been to Hawaii, so other than through the f- magic of film. That's yeah. also I like Fifty First Dates a lot because it's filmed uh, in Hawaii uh-huh. too. Uh, I've so. Been there too. Love that movie. Blah blah blah. I yeah. sat where he sang the song to Lucy at night at Sea Life Park. Sat there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 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 And I've seen Chinaman's Hat. It's not where. Wow. It's a little island. Like it looks like a hat. It's an island. It's off the the pier Such at their a house. Name, Chinaman's Hat. That's what it's called. <laughs> I know. I know. It took me a second. You said that, and I was like, "Is there like some?" That's also why I said somewhere. Some I was really I'm like, "It's just it's okay. how it's Okay. Known. All right. <laughs> okay. Splash Mountain. But yeah. uh. <laughs> but yeah, it's a. Uh, locationally it's not in the right spot but it's like one of the things like i don't know how they did it exactly the magic of film editing yeah, yeah. but they did just because like i've been like from the perspective of where you see it in the movie i've stood in that spot and it's not there's nothing there rest in pasta yeah it's like they got it together for a real good shot which we have to say there was one really beautiful shot in this film oh in the sunset yeah. when oh. he's crying when he's crying oh, yeah. and he's in his hotel room and they think that it's the woman weeping mm-hmm. and it's got just the most beautiful color in the shot the way that they captured the sunlight coming in and mm-hmm. just like they silhouetted him out a little bit just it's really good beautiful it's such shot. a yeah, it's completely unique from like all the other shots in the movie yeah it stands out Happy they little accident, it. maybe. Who knows? We'll probably. figure it out. They probably were pissed about like the color amount. They're and then like, their editors like, "Oh, let me just color grade this." Boom. They're yeah. like, "Okay, that's pretty." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bless you. 
Thank you. I drank too much bubbly down the wrong That's throat. That's what it was called. Comes down the wrong throat. throat. You have two throats. Mm-hmm. One that goes in my stomach. One that goes to my lungs. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, so Sarah Marshall. I liked it. I'm probably not going to forget this one. No. I mean, that's, it's one of the movies, because I don't like own too many like physical copies. But yeah, this thank one goodness I you to. own it, because we wouldn't able to stream it anywhere. I know. That's right. We had to actually I own get it this too. one. Do you? Uh, we would have been good. We would have been good. Mm-hmm. We're good the other way. I love this movie. I've seen it so more times than I can count. This and I Love You, Man. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I've seen this a few more times than I Love You, Man, but I think it's because I watched this first, so that's why. Yeah. Yeah. To each their own. Yeah. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so uh, I guess that's probably all it I for this weekend. It, yeah. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, so mm-hmm. we're getting back into Twitch, at least me and Anthony are. Mm-hmm. I'm streaming uh, and doing all my Instagram stuff at still Nick Ben's 9001 Probably change it in a year or so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anthony, where are you at? Uh, Concise Koala on Twitch, and then I'm finally starting my YouTube. Oh, it's yes. What's your YouTube channel? Same name. Same name? Just Concise yep. Koala? Yep. Okay. Same name. And then uh, it. it's mainly, right now, it's just going to be archive space for my VODs. Oh, yeah. So this way, because uh, the VODs don't stay forever. Since yeah, and, uh, yeah, like what, two weeks on Twitch or something like that, yes. I think? I think like, I, feel, I feel like some of them stay for like a month. It seems like it varies. Like sometimes uh-huh. it lasts longer than others, but this way I can kind of track because since, since I'm doing the Dark Souls 3 thing, this way I can True. just have like a complete archive of the whole entire run. Just for all those insane. runs. insane. You already have like, what, 200 gigabytes of footage and you're like <laughs> three, three <laughs> runs in. Yeah. But they hopefully uh, we'll get... Well, get some quicker. will be some will be quick and some will be slow depending exactly. on whichever weapon it is. But that'll be fun to watch. And mm-hmm. we have Brandon, it's your uh, socials. Well, while they do Twitch, I'm doing band stuff for yeah. end credits. Um, you can find us at end credits official, um, all lowercase, no space. But for my like personal stuff, it's pickled Brandon. So that's nice. me. Mm-hmm. That's Thanks everyone for stopping by in our little luau, aloha, <laughs> whatever the hell Hulu they yeah. call it. <laughs> So uh, thanks. Cheers, everybody. Enjoy your Saturday.